Hello friends, today we are in Medora, North Dakota. We're at Medora Uncorked with Travis, the co-owner. Now, you first walk in this place and it's a really neat atmosphere. So why don't you tell us about your establishment here? So we started as a, a wine bar in 2018 okay. in our other space. So we're mm -hmm. sitting in the dining room right now. And um, we opened late 2018 as we had close to 100 wines and a very mm -hmm. limited menu, very limited space. And then being in a family-friendly town, we had the opportunity to expand to have a family-friendly dining room in 2020. Then we also opened escape rooms. We, it's all part of our same establishment here. Mm -hmm. uh, we just decided that we wanted to add something for uh, children or mm -hmm. you know more something more family friendly to do. Mm -hmm. And then we also added the twist for adults that because we're all part of the same establishment, mm -hmm. adults can go in there with some adult beverages and oh. play the escape game. So nice. um, we have two rooms and they take about 60 minutes each. So we're kind of offering a little bit of everything, food, some wine, beer for those who don't like wine, okay. uh, slushies for the kids, oh. and escape games for after everybody's done eating. Oh, very nice. At your eating establishment, what kind of things are on the menu? We actually don't have any fryers here. Mm. We don't do the traditional Western burgers. We did so well with our pizzas and flatbreads that we kept those on the menu, and then we added pastas this year. Mm. So. We have a little bit of everything. We have some wedge salads. We have our signature jalapeno poppers, which we call uncorked poppers. Mm -hmm. And then our, really our signature flatbread, which can also be a pizza, the barbecue blueberry. And then, so we're headed over to the wine bar. So what kind of experience is that? We started with uh, about 80 wines over the summer, are basically available by the glass and we do wine flights, so if you have commitment issues, you can pick three <laughs> instead of one. We've become popular for, for having a wide variety of wines that you can come in and enjoy. Mm. The spectrum is sweet Moscatos, the whole way to dry Cabernets, some Merlots to uh, Shirazes from Australia. Seasonal. We are primarily a summer business, um, but we do participate in the seasonal events that occur in Medora. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. first Saturday in May is the wine walk. Mm -hmm. First Saturday in October is the beer and bacon walk. And then we have the Chamber of Commerce hosting the Hunter's Feed on the Friday before hunting season opens in November. Mm -hmm. And then we helped coordinate a sip and shop for that Saturday. Mm -hmm. So we're open those couple of days um, out through the winter. December we have Cowboy Christmas, old Medora Old Fashioned Cowboy Christmas that we open for. And then we throw an all-inclusive New Year's Eve party for New Year's. Okay. So we kind of slow down for a couple of months after that until mm -hmm. spring hits. Our website is MedoraUncorked.com okay. and EscapeMedora.com. But really Medora is a year-round destination. All right, Travis, so thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you.